underway in T-Town. Christian Jones from inside the five. And Jones battles his way out to the 25. Likely to see some of Kenyon Drake in the backfield today as this is Kenny Bell out past the 40-yard line for an Alabama first down to the 42. Play action now for McCarron. And he gets it to his tight end, O.J. Howard. And O.J. Howard is a long strider. This is maybe the one X factor on Alabama this year, the freshman tight end. Remember, he was the long-range specialist his first three years here at Alabama. This is a 46-yard attempt. Career long is 52. Thank you very much. And it just snuck off to the left that time. So Foster, now they go with a diamond formation with Garrett Grayson as the quarterback. And they go to slant to the near side. The lone receiver who stayed on the near side, that's Rashard Higgins. And this kind of plays into it. Alabama doesn't do very well. They don't rush the passer very well. Here's Woke on second and one. And a first down for the Rams to get their night going. Chris Woke. was batted right back to Grayson by Vinny Sinceri. Great start when he was a one-man show opening week against Virginia Tech. Here's Jones. <laughs> Feisty group from Fort Collins making their way down here to Tuscaloosa and playing some defense early. Came after that Mandel punt, but look at this skyrocket. All the way down to the 12-yard line, and that was good coverage that time by Landon Collins. Baylor's got 70 up on them. They're still playing that game. <laughs> Here's Grayson, play action. With time, downfield, and gets it complete to Hansley. All the way out to the 40-yard line. And the fair catch at the 15. We still got zeros on the board down here. 16-yard line after forcing that last punt. And McCarron once again goes to O.J. Howard. He gets it just past the 20. Let's check in with Maria for more on the floods. Yeah, Maria and Coach McElwain really encouraging all Ram fans to assist in any way they can with local help. Here's second and five. And once again, looking the tight end's way. And it's right on the sticks that time to Brian Fogler. They're, they're giving room underneath and, and doing what they have to so they're showing good discipline. Play action on first down for McCarron. He's going to take a shot to DeAndre White, who goes leaping into the air and comes down with it. Keep moving! McCarron to pass on first down. Pressure off the edge. He goes downfield, and this ball is complete this time to Christian Jones as he was fighting for extra yardage, and here come some friends to help him along. McCarron with time. And he's able to get Bell. It's going to be close, depending on the spot. Remember that yellow line you see there is unofficial. I think he's a yard short. Indeed he is, as Aaron Davis. Fourth and one. Straight ahead for Drake. And touchdown, Alabama. Drove those legs straight through and in. Received the Cade Foster kickoff. Seven nothing tied as Kaufman will take it from the two. And he was met. Boy, was he by Christian Jones playing a little special teams. So down ten. Here's Higgins with blockers in front and a good spirited run. Mark him out for a two-yard game that time. Second and eight, and once again looking the tight end's way. A flag is down as Cartwright was pushed out of bounds just beyond midfield. We'll check on the flag. Ineligible receiver, number 25, offense, was not on the end of the line of scrimmage and went downfield. That's a five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. And he forced that thing with good coverage down the field. Three-man route, they had it covered. 
They came after it and blocked it. Alabama with a special teams touchdown. How about that? That was Dylan Lee who scooped and scored. 2-0 and under is outstanding. So even with the good get off, they got the block kick. Here's Kaufman on the return. And he's taken down just beyond the 16. Let's check in with Wendy Nix. Wendy? I think he's a good, good player. First down for Grayson in the Rams. He was pressured, but he's able to connect to Higgins. Higgins breaks one tackle, and then he's forced out by Mosley. Here's Woke on second and three. And he was able to turn that corner that time. Inside pressure, they pick it up and quickly able to get it out to their tight end and Cartwright trying to fight his way. And that's why Alabama is the kind of defense they are because Saban stays on top of all of that. Third and four. Grayson running for it and he dives ahead to move the chains. You still have to set and set and make that throw. He had a chance. He had a receiver wide open, but this is off the side of the foot of Hayden Hunt, but he's probably still having nightmares about the last time he was out there and they blocked it in 1.84 seconds. TJ Yeldon is in the game now. 8-19 to go before the half, and Yeldon makes his appearance after the discipline efforts from Saban as he's able to get it put complete to DeAndre White. Now flag is down. Let's check in with Wendy Nix. Wendy it was a holding call here against the Times. They were able to get Cyrus Quanjo flagged. Just a chicken nugget over 301 pounds. What a great kid you had. <laughs> oh, yeah. sure is. High IQ guy. TJ Yeldon now. Make you miss and then turn it on. Here goes Yeldon. Down to the 30-yard line. Had a chance to visit with Cade before the game. Said he worked with Morton Anderson this summer a bit. He missed from 46 to start the night. And this is also from 46. And that just snuck through the right corner. Bottom right corner, it gets through. You know, they're probably going to need Cade Foster come a little later in the season. They're playing in about an eight-yard box is Colorado State, and that's exactly what Alabama wants them to do. Rugby-style kick that time. Collins came in, finished that thing off against Willie Adufia. The flag is down. Illegal formation. Offense. Not enough linemen on the line of scrimmage. The five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. Here's McCarron. McCarron's going to tuck it to run. Picked up a block from O.J. Howard. And they keep him, McCarron, nice and safe. And remember how dynamic he was last year. Those two touchdowns against Notre Dame in the BCS Championship. Play action on second and three. Easily complete to Howard as he continues to emerge as a weapon. Can you imagine playing high school ball against those two? Here's a first downs pass to Christian Jones. And Jones utilizing the blockers in front. Gain of about eight and a half yards taken down by Kevin Pierre Lewis. Play action. Pressure off the edge, and McCarron never had a chance. They didn't pick it up that time as Shaq Bell and Shaquille Barrett came charging in on A.J. McCarron. Set the school record for yards per punt last year. Here he will try to just position things. Simmons is back. Takes a bounce and goes into the end zone for a touchback. Colorado State just watching the clock tick down here in the first half. Colorado State went through that half of football, man, not crossing midfield. End of the second quarter. Played some good defense, especially on third downs against the Tide. Special teams was a disaster with the punt block scooped and scored. And the offense couldn't get past midfield. So here's Hayden Hunt back on to punt. Once again goes rugby style and then kicks with the right foot. And it does take a Colorado State bounce where it is fielded by Christian Jones. 
who was tackled right away at about the 28 yard line. Looked like Schlager coming down on special teams to make that tackle. And here is his one time pupil who finds Jones in stride. Did he put that ball right on the hands of Christian Jones? Another first down pass, and this time on the slant to Jones for 11 yards and another chain mover. And here it is again. And another first down as McCarron to Jones. As Christian Jones has three receptions for 46 yards on this drive. Play action. And McCarron look his way again. This time a little bit of pressure. And that ball is intercepted. They're saying incomplete. Bernard Blake made a diving effort at it. But they're saying he, can, he could not control it at the end there. That was a great effort that time by Blake. After review, the ruling is the player did maintain control of the pass. Good call. It is an interception. First down Colorado State on the 18-yard line. That's a good job by Rocky Good, Mark Curls, and the SEC crew of reversing that call. And it's an interception for Colorado State and Bernard Blake. Only the 10th interception he's thrown of his career. Here is Bibbs. That's the kid I like, Tess. Second and one. Racing quickly out to the flats to Hansley. And that's a first down as he's wrestled down by John Fulton. Mostly because I don't believe they have the real speed to be able to do that. They come back the other way with Hansley. And Hansley takes that inside screen to the 44-yard line. And this time, they do. And it is Crockett Gilmore stiff-arming his way down to the 30-yard line against John Fulton, a 24-yard perfect five for five from this range, this attempt from 45 yards out. And make it 13 straight field goals now for Jared Roberts. So Colorado State gets on the board. And Simmons with a fair catch out at the 23 yard line. One of the first uh, primetime games televised in college football history. And this is complete on a crossing route to Higgins for a first down. Let's check in with Wendy Nix. Wendy? These, these are solid guys, but they're not the guy. There's Grayson on second and eight. And this is Bibbs out of the backfield with a block in front and a first down. Third and seven. They go with the screen again. Higgins. Higgins is fast when he gets open space in front of him. And it's a first down for Colorado State. So let's see now if Joey Porter's troops can rally here. The former NFL star and CSU alum. Play action. Here they go. Downfield. And it's complete for a first down as he's able to find Joe Hansley. So Jared Roberts comes back out. He's made 13 straight field goals. And now the streak is at 14. And Colorado State coach Jim McElwain, 39 and a half point underdogs, and they trail Alabama by only 11 with five seconds to go in the third quarter. So Alabama to punt away again. Cody Mandel with Simmons back to return at the 25. And it bounces just about at the 27. Eric Grayson, can he orchestrate something here in the fourth? Gets to the edge of that rush and then gets out to the 30-yard line. Did the ball come loose at the end there? Alabama is claiming it did. No, official has his, he's marking it. He's marking it there, and everybody on the Alabama sideline is saying, 
otherwise. After further review, the ruling is the runner lost control of the ball yep. before his knee was on the ground. It was an immediate recovery by the defense. It's Alabama's ball, first and 10 on the 30-yard line. Also stressing that immediate recovery is the second half to that equation. So it is Alabama football at the 30. And there was Colorado State with an opportunity, trailing by 11, fourth quarter, looking to put a drive together. And instead, they turn it over. Play action for McCarron. Going to take a shot to the end zone. Oh, it was too easy. DeAndre White. And White was able to get on top of it because of the protection to Karen was perfect. Margin to 18 now for Alabama as Kaufman takes it out of the end zone. And Kaufman finds a nice stride as the flag is down and Kaufman got to the 32-yard line. During the return, holding number 22, receiving team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. It will not shock me if Bama just puts the nail in the coffin. Let's see if they get that running game going. As Hayden Hunt punts away. And Christian Jones caught that on the run. And Jones out towards midfield. Start for the Rams back in the late 90s. As Mandel punts away. Bounces at the two and then goes in. Grayson with time goes downfield and Grayson has it complete to Hansley. They play a lot of the starters on special teams. And look at the success they have. Exactly. They had Drake with the block punt. That's like a rugby style. It's a low liner of a punt. It actually hit a Rams player that time. So Jones came up, just simply fielded it. Look at Yeldon spinning and driving for eight. Tess, you, you take a look at Ole Miss, and you take a look at just the receivers. Well, they also have uh, Scott in the backfield, and that kid can fly. Now, this kid can fly, too, and you're going to see him in the coming years. That's Alti Tenpenny, the freshman running back from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Had six carries against Virginia Tech. Kenyon Drake is in as the lone back now. McCarron's looking to pass. He wants one more shot downfield. Great oh, was just oh, no, they're going to get flag. the flag that time on Bernard Blake. Remember, he had the interception earlier. Play action again. And McCarron is sacked by Barrett. Shaquille Barrett. That's a guy who many feel will be a first-team All-America this year and a top NFL prospect come the day he decides to go. And Barrett just got the best of them. And there's Ten Penny again. Yeah, so let's go. Let's down. go back, Tess, and look at that. I want to show you a couple things with this. Here's McCarron on third and twelve. He's going to check down underneath, and it's Drake. And look at Drake easily get to the outside with that speed and stride. Blake Sims is the quarterback with Derek Henry, the five-star recruit from Florida, in the game. And here is Derek Henry's second carry of his college career. And Blake Sims is the junior quarterback. Came here as an all-around guy, running back quarterback, played a little receiver. And Chris Black will take it in. That's good to see Chris Black back in action. Last year he hurt his shoulder in spring camp. Was an early enrollee, missed all of last year. And they struggled a bit against Virginia Tech week one, but they gelled well against Texas A&M and finishing off tonight's game well as well. Here's Kaufman, and a flag comes down as we check in with Wendy Nix. The Holy War, Utah and BYU. Illegal participation wearing same number, two players number 21. The five-yard penalty will be tacked off the end of the run. It's a first down. Stanford is rolling on Arizona State all night long. That score is not indicative of what's happening here. They're going to have their showdown out there in the Pac-12 with Stanford in Oregon. Thomas Kaufman makes the catch. And Now 
And they pressure Grayson right to the end with zeros on the clock. Saban's still coaching with the headsets on. Bam, it's 3-0. and oh. Wasn't pretty for a majority of the night, but they did their job as Jim McElwain and his former boss will meet up at midfield. And A.J. McCarron, 28th win as a starting quarterback. Ole Miss is up next for number one. 31 to 6 is our final score. Coming up next, stay tuned for college football scoreboard followed by ESPN college football finale, Utah BYU. So long from Tuscaloosa. Let's get you back to Wendy in the studio.